Okay, hello. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today is the annual uh, credit card cutting up day. Um, so I'll tell a little story as I <laughs> cut up my credit cards and explain a little bit uh, the reasoning on why I'm doing this and why I've done it. Since I've had my credit, since I've had a credit card, I've probably done this three to six times a year. Um, the reason mainly being, um, there's just something about, for one, if you have this, it's just the desire to pull it out of your pocket and use it, even if you have cash, is really, is really strange to me. And obviously, you know, with marketing and the, you know, there's a reason that they give these to anyone and there's a reason that, you know, credit cards exist and that people are in tens of thousands of dollars in credit card debt uh, and can't seem to get away out of it, including myself. For example, just to give you some context here, a month ago, maybe, maybe a month ago, um, I had $6,000 in credit card debt, but I had paid it down in like a month and a half to about 2000 or maybe 20, no, $2,500. Sold a bunch of stuff, uh, work, blah, 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 blah. Um, and now, like a month later, less than a month later, it's been like maybe three weeks, uh, I'm back up to $6,300 credit card in credit card debt. And it just, it just, it kind of disgusts me. I don't judge myself for it because I understand, like if I have it, of course I'm going to use it. And like, I'm not, you know, I'm like also being stressed and whatnot. Like I want to eat out or get coffee all the time. That stuff adds up like really, really quick. Uh, extremely quick like it's just I don't even know like I have nothing to show for that money okay except for the car um, the car was about 1200 bucks taxes and everything included which I uh, used on my credit card um, so anyways if I didn't have my credit card if I didn't have my credit card I wouldn't have been able to buy that car correct so what would I have done well what would anyone do if they didn't have a credit card they probably just figure out how to how to pay for it without having without using credit card, uh, whether that be going and getting a job, working for a couple of months, you know, because they needed because they had a, the motive uh, to get a car, like let you know if you're younger, for example, you probably just like go work odd jobs, knock on people's doors, uh, and mow their lawns, and I feel like I've lost that desire just because I have this this little escape mechanism here. Um, so that's really, that's my thoughts on credit cards. And obviously now I'm at the point where I'm dissatisfied with that. So I'm getting rid of them. But also I want to kind of talk about being in the bus right now and how I've, I've gotten really caught up in the future. And because of that, I'm not able to be in the present. Like when I first got here, the first day that I got here, I said in the last video, I was like having a great time. You know, I just... <laughs> pulled all my tools out, which were extremely disorganized and cleaned them, you know, organized like even little sockets and like me and it, it was great. It was really great. And, uh, made me feel satisfied. Made me feel, like now I had to use the tools. Um, I think yesterday and, uh, just pulled it out and I know where everything is and it felt great, but you don't do those kind of things if you're too focused on the future. And the only reason that I ever get depressed is when I'm thinking too much about the future. Because, like, me, myself, and other people have such high expectations for me. Um, that to just be out in the woods like this and just, like, relax and just, like, camp, almost even, and, and not have to worry about what the future brings is so fucking hard to do. It's like the person, or like, the CEO that's, like, out on a vacation with his wife and his kids, and he's just thinking about the business and he's on the phone all the time. And, like, that, that image in my mind, like, that disgusts me. Yet I'm doing the exact same thing out here. Uh, why? Well, because I'm young and like you gotta, you know, seize the day and like do shit while you're young because this is the foundations of foundation of your future and blah, blah, blah. And like all that's true, but it like putting, putting myself into that state of depression doesn't make me progress any faster. In fact, it doesn't make me prog progress at all because I'm in a shitty state, so I can't think of creative, you know, good ideas on, uh, the, on things that could actually improve my future. So 
Yeah, all that to say, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm aware of that now because I, I watched a video because I've just been on my phone all day. What's kind of something that I do when I'm stressed, I guess. I just sit, sit on YouTube and or scroll on Facebook Marketplace. I'm like, oh yeah, I could like fix that and sell it. Man, I could just like start a business buying and selling cars again. I could just like start a landscaping company and like, you know, look at all these tools. They're like 100 200 bucks I could start and I might I might do something like that still but like I'm using that as an escape from feeling you know how I'm feeling like I'm just it's it's not progressive it's just uh stimulating but anyways I saw a video that was um somebody that went into the dark for like 100 hours uh, it's like a retreat and um initially they were like extremely stressed out they like couldn't stop thinking and just like freaking out basically like oh my god like what the fuck's the point of life relatable <laughs> and then um somewhere along the journey they just like surrendered and they were like yeah like f this this is this is all that i'm doing right now like this is just where i'm meant to be right now and there's nothing wrong with that i don't need to know what the future holds or is going to be just trusting that you know it's going to work out basically um and then you know after 100 hours she comes out of the dark and, um, you know, it was a good event and like brought her a lot of insight, but it made me think because I was sitting on, you know, laying down while, while watching the video, just like, damn, like I'm just sitting here stressed and the environment is the same, no matter what, like for the video, um, it's just darkness, no matter what. So if you feel shitty in that darkness, like that's, that's, that's you making you feel that way. And if you feel great and you're just like, this is like the most, pre this is the most present that I've ever been, then it's going to be great and you're going to have a great time. So all that to say, I just need to be a little bit more uh, lenient, not lenient, but I'm just trying to be a little more present. Enjoy this as if I'm camping. And, and if I do that, I know that I'm going to have a day soon in the near future. I'm gonna be like, oh, you know what? I, I think I'm going to do this and just acting without like feeling like it needs to be this, you know, end all be all like, Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to go uh, knock on some doors today and like try and uh, do some landscaping jobs or something. And then just going and doing that. And that doesn't need to be like the thing I do for the rest of my life. Uh, that's just what I need to do at that moment in time. You know what I mean? And that's what I feel like doing. Um, and maybe that's influenced a little bit because of, of the fact of, of needing money, real money, not fake money. Um, yeah, so hopefully that resonate, resonates a little bit. Hopefully that makes sense. And if you do have credit cards, I encourage you to do this. If you're struggling at all, even if you, you know, are going to never have a credit card again for the rest of your life, which I might not either. But every time I do this, it's just a little bit of a reset. Like, okay, yeah, all right. Like, now that's all my consciousness. Now I'm a little bit more aware. Like, I don't want to be spending money recklessly. And I have a, well now, I mean, I have a very limited number, of li very limited, limited amount of cash. And, um, I'm going to have to use that wisely now because I don't have a backup. Uh, maybe I got to sell the car. Uh, you know, maybe I got to move the bus back in town and just use, use the bus for like doing work and stuff. Who knows? But I would never come up with any of those ideas if I hadn't just done this. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.